Hello and welcome back to edupediaworld.com. In this session, we'll be discussing about the third type of market structure that is monopolistic competition. Now, because now you already know about what is perfect competition and what is a monopoly situation, so now you have all the information you need to analyze what is a monopolistic competition. Its name itself suggests that it is something of a mix of characteristics of both the types of market that is a monopoly and a perfect competition. So let's have a look at the characteristics of monopolistic competition. Now because monopolistic competition is a competitive market like perfect competition, so there are large number of sellers and large number of buyers so that no individual can affect the overall market. And as there are competitors, so there is free and entry and exit of the firms. That is, there is no significant barrier which can restrict the entry and exit of the firm. The other characteristic of the perfect competition, which also we find in monopolistic competition, is the perfect mobility of factors of production. That is, the factors of production are free to leave the industry and to join a particular industry. Similarly, there is complete dissemination of market information. Although the buyers don't have perfect information, but still they have some information so that they can compare the products of two competitors. Now, coming up to the characteristics of a monopoly, a monopolistic firm also sells differentiated product. Now, it doesn't matter that whether the differentiation is real or artificial, it all depends upon the customer perception but still the monopolistic and the monopolistic competition the firm sells differentiated product the product can be differentiated in terms of the content or in terms of the physical appearance or in terms of the brand ambassador used in order to advertise the product so the products are differentiated and because the products are differentiated so obviously the firms have some control on the price of the product now, it is very much possible in this type of market structure to have artificial differentiation. For example, two products have same contents, but for marketing purpose, they have attractive packaging, they have celebrity endorsements. Consumers are perceived that the products are different in nature. Now, so in the end, if the consumers perceive the product to be different, they are different. It doesn't matter that whether the difference is real or artificial. Basically, in this type of market, consumers are fooled due to lack of perfect information in the market. Now, let's see that how does the market looks like. First, we'll go for that what happens in the short run. price and output determination in short run. So in short run, we find under monopolistic competition, three types of situations which appear for a monopolist. That is the monopolist in short run can earn super normal profits. He can also earn normal profits and he can also run into losses. So let's see how. The first situation is that the they are having super normal profits. On x axis I take the quantity and on y axis I take the price that is in dollars. So see here what will the demand curve look like it all depends upon the type of demand in the market. See the demand faced by each producer under a monopolistic competition will be a small fraction of the overall market demand and the demand will be highly but not perfectly elastic. So 
uh, if we compare the demand curve of a monos monopolistic firm uh, under monopolistic competition as uh, compared to the perfect competition in perfect competition we had a straight line which was parallel to x axis but in monopolistic competition we will have a demand curve which which is sloped downwards and we can see that the curve is a little bit flat because it shows that uh, the demand for the product is elastic in nature that is price elasticity of demand is elastic one with one person change in price there will be more than one person change in the demand of the product now what happens to the uh, marginal revenue curve because this demand curve also shows the average revenue so due to this the marginal revenue will also fall down but the fall in the marginal revenue will be greater than the fall in the average revenue so we'll get a curve like this this is the marginal revenue curve of the firm now how to determine the um, profit maximizing output the rule is the same where marginal cost is equals to marginal revenue we get the profit maximizing output and the marginal cost curve in the short run will be the same as in other types of market structure so we get a curve like this this is the short run marginal curve marginal cost curve this marginal cost curve cuts the marginal revenue curve at this point so this is the profit maximizing output now we extend this point in order to get the price we extend this point to the demand curve this line to the demand curve and we can determine the price of the product so this is the price now whether the firm as this is a super normal profit condition so the average cost will always be lower than the average revenue curve this is the average revenue curve so the average cost will be lower than the average revenue curve so we get a curve like this this is the average cost curve and it cuts the average revenue uh, it cuts the price quantity curve at this point so and it is the difference between the average revenue and the average cost is this much so this is the profit which is earned by the firm in the short run so this is how price and output is determined and this is a situation which is telling that the firm is earning super normal profits now let's see that what happens to this graph when the firm is earning normal profits that is the firm is just break is at is just at the break even point again we draw a graph to show that so again the firm has the same type of demand curve that is a elastic demand curve where d is equals to the average revenue curve we get the same type of marginal revenue curve we get the same type of marginal cost curve the difference will be only in the average cost curve in order to remind the price this is the optimum quantity where marginal cost is equals to marginal revenue and this is the price the difference will only be in the co average cost curve because average cost will be more than average will be at uh, the equal point with the average revenue curve that is why the firm is at break even point so this is the co average cost curve which we are getting so we can see here that at this particular point the average cost is equals to average revenue so the firm is at break even point so this shows a condition of normal profit now let's see that how the firm run into losses under short run under monopolistic competition the third condition is of losses y axis price x axis quantity the demand curve will look like the same as in other cases that is this is the demand curve 
then this is the marginal revenue curve we have the same marginal cost curve and the same profit maximizing output situation that is where the marginal cost curve cuts the marginal revenue curve there we get the profit maximizing output we extend this line to the demand curve and we can get the prices this is the price to be charged now because the firm under this particular situation is into losses so that's why the average cost curve will be above the average revenue curve in this particular case average cost is always more than average revenue that is why the firm is making losses so we get a curve like this this is the average cost curve we extend this line to the average cost curve and this amount is the amount of losses with this particular difference the average revenue is less than the average cost so this is the amount of losses incurred by the firm so now you see that under monopolistic competition under short run the firm can have three types of situation that is super normal profits it can earn super normal profits it can earn normal profits and it can also run into losses now what happens in long run see under long run because the firm has so we have seen three situations in the short run that the firm can earn super normal profits the firm can reach a break even point and the firm can also run into losses in the short run but in the long run the firm can only break even now let's see how now we come to price and output determination in the long run let's see that what does the market looks like we take the quantity and we take the price we get the same type of demand curve in the long run also this demand curve is equal to the average revenue curve we get the same type of marginal revenue curve then this is the marginal cost curve it cuts the marginal revenue curve at this point and this is the profit maximizing output we extend this curve to the average revenue curve and we get the price now what about the average cost in the long run the average cost will always be equal to the average revenue curve that is we only get this type of situation that is the firm is earning normal profit or is at the break even point in the long run now why does this happens that is why does the firm only enters into break even point or earns only normal profit in the long run this happens because the firm under monopolistic competition have little market power and also there is the assumption of free entry and exit in the long run with the firm see if the firm is earning profits in the short run then other firms will see that profit and enter the industry this will actually draw away some customers to other firms lowering demand of the existing firm and as a result the existing firm will go to a break even point now remember if profits continue to exist new firms will enter until there are no profits to be had now again the firms start earning losses in the short run if they start earning losses in the short run then in the long run some firms which are not able to bear the losses they will start going out of the industry so what happens to their customers their customers will then shift to the other sellers in the industry which will increase their demand until such point that they can break even that is again they reach to this break even point at that point exit from the industry stops because the firm have reached to their break even point which 
actually enables them to continue in the industry. So, in a monopolistic competition under long run firm just earns normal profit. So, let's summarize that what we have seen what happens under monopolistic type of market structure. Summarizing upon we can say that under monopolistic competition there are large number of buyers and sellers and there is easy entry and exit. Then again the profit maximizing output is a point where MR is equals to MC. Then in short run, there are three types of situation that is average revenue is equals to average cost. Average revenue can be greater than average cost that is the firm is earning super normal profits and average cost can be greater than the average revenue that is the firm is running into losses. Under long run, there is just one situation that is average revenue is equals to average cost and you know the reason why. What about the prices? The prices under monopolistic competition are in between the perfect competition and the prices under monopoly. That is you can see that the prices which the monopolistic firm charges are in between the prices which are being charged that is it is more than the prices which are being charged under perfect competition and it is less than the prices which are being charged under monopoly. What happens to the quantity sold? Now again it is in between the perfect competition and the monopoly situation that is that is under monopolistic competition the quantity sold is more than the perfect competition and it is less than the situation of monopoly. So this was all about monopolistic competition. So I suppose that you have understood that what is monopolistic competition, what are its features and how price is being determined under short run and long run under monopolistic competition. In the next session we will be continuing by discussing the fourth type of market structure that is oligopoly. Till then, have a nice time and thank you for watching Edupedia World.